What's up everybody, I'm AK and welcome to the Minority Mindset. Index funds, oh man, everybody loves them so much. I mean, talk to anybody, your financial advisor, your robo advisor, your friends, your dog, they're all gonna tell you to invest in index funds. See, watch this, Alexa, what should I be investing in? Oh man, she, she might still be mad at me. We actually, we had a fight last night. But everybody says to invest in index funds because they think it's really safe. They treat it kind of like the new gold or something. But it's not that simple. And we're gonna talk about why in this video. Now, the first thing we gotta do is understand what an index fund actually is. So an index fund is basically a fund that you could put your money into that will mimic the returns of the general markets. So for example, you could have an index fund that covers the S&P 500. So if you put your money into there, your investment is is gonna do exactly what the S&P 500 does. So compare this to say investing in something like Kraft. So if you invest in the company Kraft, you're putting your money at risk because something could happen and the stock can just drop. And that's the risk you gotta take when you're investing in a single stock. But if you're investing in an index fund, you're investing in the entire market. So a single stock getting hit hard like Kraft, it's not gonna hurt you as much. So say for example, you invest $100 into an S&P 500 index fund. And it's pretty simple to do that. All you gotta do is go into your brokerage and say that you wanna invest in that specific index fund. So now you got your $100 in that index fund. So if the S&P 500 moves up 3%, well then you're gonna make 3% on that $100 or $3. Your index fund is gonna track what the index does. Now this is all without considering fees, which are what I'm gonna talk about right now. So one of the biggest reasons people love index funds so much is because of the low fees. So when you're investing in a fund, whether it be an index fund or a mutual fund or something else, some Someone is managing that. And obviously they gotta get paid somehow, right? They're not doing it for charity. So that's why they start charging fees on that fund. And a fee is basically just a small percentage of the assets that you have in there. So say you have that $100 in that index fund, the fee might be something like nine cents on that hundred bucks. So the fees aren't that much in that example, but when you have a lot of money, those small fees start to add up. And that's why people are always looking at what the fee might be. So when you're dealing with index funds, the fees tend to be lower. And that's because the people manage managing the index funds, all they're doing is just tracking what the overall market does. And when you're tracking what the overall market does, that's something called passive investing. And the opposite of passive investing is active investing, where you're trying to be like Warren Buffett and just pick the best stocks. So obviously if you invest in a fund that is actively investing, they're doing a lot more work. So they're gonna charge you more fees. But if you invest in a fund that's passively investing, that's a lot less work. So they're gonna charge you less fees. So the idea is that the people who invest in the passive funds, like the index funds, they just just want to do what the market is doing. They don't want to pay someone to try and pick stocks and do better than what the market is doing. And if you're thinking, huh, well, why wouldn't you want someone to do a good job picking stocks and make you more money? Well, that's because it's very hard. And most of the active funds that you can invest in, they don't even outperform the general market. So in a lot of investors' heads, it makes sense to invest in a passive fund, like an index fund, instead of investing in something active where the guy doesn't even do a good job. Because at that point, what are you paying for? And people feel good about about index funds because they are diversified. And diversification is basically what I was explaining before. There is more risk investing in a single stock like Kraft than in investing in the whole market. And that's another benefit of these index funds. So by this point, you're probably thinking, okay, sounds great, AK. I'm gonna go sign up for an index fund right away. Well. Not so fast. There's always that other side of the coin. They think, oh, you know, nothing bad's gonna happen. I am diversified. Here's the thing though. Diversification does not mean you're not gonna lose. Anybody remember 2008? Yeah, the financial crisis, maybe, yes, no? Well, during that period, the entire market dropped more than 50%. So it didn't matter if you were diversified between a bunch of stocks, because they all got crushed. So that is the huge thing that so many investors forget. Even if you're in an index fund, you are still gonna have to face those huge drops. Okay, so maybe 2008 was a once in a lifetime thing. The market isn't gonna ever crash that hard again. Maybe. But regardless, the market is gonna go through a cycle. It goes up and then it goes down. So you are gonna face bad losses eventually. An index fund isn't gonna save you from that. Low fees aren't gonna matter when that happens. The only thing that's gonna help you in that situation is if you have a plan. You need to have an investment plan that you're gonna stick to so that when your emotions start running wild, when the market is dropping, you're not gonna do something stupid. You know what a ton of people did even when they were diversified through 2008? They ended up buying at the top and selling at 
the bottom and losing a ton of money. It was so sad. <sighs> Alexa, uh, never mind. See, this is not to say that index funds are bad. I actually really like them and I have a lot of my personal money inside of them. But along with investing in them, I also have a plan with what I'm gonna do in case things get rough. So the moral of the story is that index funds are indeed great, but you just can't blindly invest in them. You gotta have that plan in place. And we're gonna teach you more about the stock market and how to invest and how to build that plan in future videos. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure you hit that like button and share it with one friend so we can spread the word. Also subscribe to the Minority Mindset YouTube channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss our new stock market video next week. And if you want to see more of me, AK, then you could head over to my personal channel at Fallible where we talk about the stock market and investing every single day. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.